Hey guys, HCG Chica. I'm checking in for days VLCD 13 through 15. So VLCD 13, I was down 0. 0.6 to 137.6. VLCD 14, I was down 0. 0.4 um, to 137.2. And VLCD 15, today I was down 0. 0.8 uh, what, to 136.4. So that brings me to a total of 12.8 pounds lost in 14 days. Um, that is excellent. I shouldn't have been complaining earlier this round. I've, I've had some good losses since then, so it's kept my, um, my losses pretty, pretty high compared to days on the VLCD. Um, I did do a fat fast yesterday. And, and then I had the 0.8 release today. I feel like it might have been bigger, but um, I didn't drink as much water as I should have yesterday. Again, um, it's so funny. Usually water is so easy for me, and lately it's been tough. And also, I was up really late. I was up to like 2 in the morning, which is not what I usually do. I, I just couldn't sleep. I felt kind of tired all day, and it was just like I, I perked up in the evening. Um, and so I was up till 2. I did sleep till about 9 nine o'clock, uh, but that's still only about seven hours and that's not as much as I usually get. So I probably sabotaged my fat fast day a little bit, but um, but I'm still happy with it. I mean, it's a good loss, definitely. Um, on the fat fast, all I had was one cup of pecans and four ounces of cream cheese. I just kept it really simple and I believe that put my um, calories from fat around 87%. And I think the calories ended up being like about 1150. So um, it was just really simple. I didn't want to think about it. So I just put the pecans in a bag and just kind of munched on them throughout the day and then took little spoons full of cream cheese. Um, and I think it was a good thing to do because um, I've got to be honest, I've been having a really tough time this second round mentally um, with sticking to the protocol. Um, I have been finding myself, you know, grabbing little bites of extra stuff here and there. Um, even stuff that I shouldn't take a bite of, <laughs> I've been taking a bite of stuff. Um, yeah, I just been wanting to eat more and it kind of comes and goes, but it's been tough. So, um, the fat fast day was good because I guess when things are that high fat, you don't want to eat a ton of it because it just doesn't feel good. Like when I was having the cream cheese, I would only have, you know, two or three small, like half spoonfuls at a time. Uh, before I'd be like, okay, that's enough for now. Um, so it was a good thing to do because I didn't feel like I was going to nibble on anything else. Um, the other thing is the day I had my 0.4 loss, the day before that, I was just on regular VLCD. But um, I, I made the uh, lemon truffles a few days ago. And I made them like in the evening. So I had just a couple of like maybe three of them that night. But the next day, there was a whole plate full in my fridge, and uh, I know others have discussed this issue as well. Um, I ended up eating almost all of them. I think there was only like three left, so I ate all of those this day. And, you know, that really messes with my head when I go off protocol that much, like unintentionally. Um, it just makes me feel guilty and bad and worried about the next day and that I'm, you know, sabotaging myself. And so it just made me feel not well mentally that day. Um, and as it was, the next morning I woke up to a 0.4 loss, so that's still, I still had a loss, so that's great. But who's to say if I didn't have all of those lemon truffles, if maybe it was supposed to be a 1.4 day, who knows, you know? I'll never know now, but at least I still had a loss, that's all that mattered. I just was kind of afraid of waking up and having a gain because I, I ate quite a few of them, um, in addition to all my other VLCD stuff, and, um... Yeah, and I even had, you know, a couple of jellos, and I had um, extra chicken that day. So I just, it was just a day when I was just eating too much. So, um, but it didn't turn out to be too bad, thankfully. The other thing is, is I did do um, my 10 minutes of my um, high-intensity interval training. I did that the day before the point four release as well, um, and that felt good. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Um... Today I'm doing an egg day, so I'll let you know how that goes. I just wanted to do something different. Um, like I said, it's just, I don't know, it's just been tough this time. Last round it was so easy for me. I just stuck to the protocol, and I never cheated, and um, this time I just, you know, I nibble on stuff. I wanted to show you something real quick. I'm not suggesting that you eat this as a protein necessarily. 
But for me, this is an acceptable choice. So I just want to share it because I think it's kind of new. They're from Trader Joe's. And they're um, they're actually called um, chicken hot dogs. They're made out of chicken. They don't. They're all natural, no nitrates or um, nitrates, nitrites or nitrates, whatever. You know what I mean. Um, and the cool thing is, they they only have 60 calories um, per hot dog. Um, 2.5 grams of fat, one gram of carbs, um, nine grams of protein, and one gram of sugar. So. Um, when I was kind of having a tough time, these are really tasty with like a little mustard. And for me, the way I do the protocol, I can have two of these because that equals 120 calories. Um, and I can I can do that for me because when I do this protocol, I don't have any Melba toast or, or milk or anything. So what I do is I have 150 calories worth of um, protein per, per meal. And then I have 40 calories worth of vegetable and I have 60 calories worth of fruit. And if you do that twice, that equals 500 calories. So um, for, for me, this does work. The only drawback about these is that, of course, as all processed meat stuff goes, it does have a good amount of sodium. It has 250 milligrams of sodium um, for each hot dog. So that means there's 500 milligrams of sodium for one serving. Um, but you know, when you're not feeling well, it was very satisfying. It felt like I was eating something really tasty. And so it's not something I'm going to do every day, but it is something that I think um, is nice to have now and then when you're kind of really wanting something tasty. Um, you know, maybe at a barbecue or something. So that's my update for today. Oh, my mom is doing so great. She started at six, I'm sorry, 635. She started at 235 at this at the beginning of this round, 235.4. This morning she was up to a two pound loss and she's two, um, 214 this morning. So she is so super excited. That means that she has lost 21.4. 21 pounds. She's lost 21 pounds this round, and I think she's on VLCD day like, um, I'm going to say like 19 or 20. So she is still averaging a pound a day, which is really good. This is her second round as well. As you recall, we did take a long break, um, and, and to be honest, I do think that has helped our losses in this round. That's just my opinion, of course, but I do think it has helped having that long break. We took a two and a half month break between round one and round two. Um, she doesn't exercise at all or anything, but she's really been having good losses still. And she even says she does eat more than 500 calories. Um, she's not hungry anymore, which is really exciting. Um, but she says she does know, she does stick to the foods within the protocol in general, but she knows that she's eating more than 500. I think she has larger portions and stuff. But you know what? It's been working for her. And she she's incorporated the coconut oil in her dressings for salad. Um, and that's something that I've done as well. Um, so I'm really, I'm really happy to hear that. You know, um, it seems like this protocol... Um, is excellent and sometimes there's small little tweaks that individuals may find that they are able to do without it really hindering their progress. So that's my update for today and I'll check in with you guys again.